Hello, ladies and germs. Oh, gentlemen. Well, as you can see by my little weather icon here, we are actually having Tropical Storm Sandy, which is predicted to upgrade to a hurricane level 1 by the time it hits Jamaica. I pray that we are all safe and that all our families are safe. Make sure you check up on everybody you know as much as you can. Uh, and, you know, just be safe during the hurricane. Now, today's tutorial has to do with motion tracking. <laughs> Funny. Because, you know, when we deal with meteor showers and we look at hurricane and the meteorologists, they're always checking or tracking the hurricane. Watch. Right? So, this is for Hurricane Sandy and for all you guys who are tracking Hurricane Sandy. And we're going to use tracking in our um, video editing here. We're going to be using After Effects. Now, we're going to be looking at motion tracking. And motion tracking is where you can track a particular aspect of a video. Such as, let's say you walk into a building and you have an idea and you know that little idea bulb pops into your head and starts following you all over the screen. Right? So, motion tracking can be used for stuff like that. Now, today we're going to use a video that everybody who uses Microsoft ought to have. Or Microsoft Windows. Personally, I'm a Linux person, but you no, know, I have Windows. <coughs> right? So, we have a project here. All we need to do is import or little videos here and if you're familiar with the wildlife AMV you can find it in your videos folder right sample videos wildlife right now when you get a footage like this you kind of want to interpret footage I'd say just click on guess it ought to make an accurate guess for you to use and press ok now we have our wildlife.wmv here right if we should play through the whole thing what we get is 30 seconds of wildlife running through nature horses birds flying seals sea lions there in the snow and um gannets slash cormorants slash water birds and so on and so forth right and it goes on and on and on and on with more animals just going around i think that's a groundhog or squirrel theme and a koala with sharp teeth and more birds yay for this particular video, we're just going to be using the horses. Why not? Now, we want to kind of trim this here, this, this video here. We'll have a blank screen and we know it goes up to a certain limit before it jumps to birds. So if you want to move your um, video frame by frame, you're going to hold control and you're going to move left arrow key to go backward and right arrow key to go forward. And you can see over here in the time which frame you're at 4 seconds 11 frames so this particular video um, at 4 seconds and 4 frames that's where our footage ends with horses and you can press N on your keyboard to bring this to the end of the work area now at frame 1 it's kind of black screen so if we move by a frame that's where it starts so we're gonna press B for the beginning of the work area. Now we're going to trim our composition just to this work area and you can do that by right clicking work area right here this gray area and you're going to choose trim comp to work area. Voila! Now you actually have everything all panned out for that entire area. Right? So this part of the tutorial is going to cover a particular section of tracking. Right? So we're going to track this white horse here so first of all we need footage to track then you're gonna if you don't have it already open tracker right if it's not there you go to window and choose tracker and it pops up there <coughs> and you're gonna choose your video file you're gonna choose track motion and right here we get our layer with the wildlife WMV that's the same one there except it's not in the composition we're gonna track or how do you say or video right so we're gonna move this track point here and this little plus sign is a tracking point position this inner box is your pattern size and out here is your search area it's gonna search for that particular pattern within this area so as your footage shifts then it's gonna look in that particular search area to get the same pattern and this horse is kind of white well it is white 
right so we just want to keep that pattern right there of the horses head or the body right I'm gonna move this little point here right here to about the horse's head but what we want to do is just track the body and that's fine enough for me right once you have the area you want to track you simply hit the button analyze you can either analyze forward or analyze backward now if you're analyzing forward make sure your starting point of your track starts at the beginning of what it is you're tracking and you're gonna press play and watch what happens right I'm gonna move this to 100 <clears throat> so look at this tracking point here press play and lies forward what we have there is that that track point is tracking the horse's body once that has been set all your track points are set which is pretty cool right <clears throat> so let's go back to our composition window in our composition here you can see that your composition currently has no instead of your typical transform and audio for any typical video you have motion trackers right and that is the tracker and track point and it gives you the keyframes for the whole point that you are tracking <clears throat> now the really cool thing about it is that instead of going frame by frame by frame by frame it does all that work for you right so what I want to do is while the horse is running it's going to be screaming out something right <clears throat> something <laughs> yeah right so horse is gonna be screaming out something right that's fine for me there something gonna be screaming out something <clears throat> now watch this what I'm going to do is based on my motion tracker points I'm going to want my something to be following that track point there so what I'm going to do here right the position of my something remember position is based on your anchor point here right I just press tilde to get the full screen of the window I want right <clears throat> so I'm going to use my position and it says here time period what, stopwatch alt click to add or remove expression I'm gonna click alt click and if I toggle, press F4, right? If I toggle my window, right? I see my pick whip here, and I can grab my expression to give me the attach point so that what happens is it follows that something. You remember when I put my um, little tracking position to the horse's head before? It kind of now follows that point and attaches itself. So it says something. Now, if I wanted this something to move a little further from the horse's head, the transform point I'd use is the anchor point. Right? And I'll just move my anchor point probably a little bit up, a little bit left. And what I want to do is instead of just have something there, make something black. And I'm going to draw a ellipse behind my something right make sure my fill color is whatever color that is now to make sure it's a shape and not a mask you need to make sure that none of your layers are selected as you can see my layer is selected uh, I draw a mask but I want no layer selected and then I'm gonna draw a fill here right notice the anchor point of the fill right you can always choose to move that with your pan behind tool there but we're going to leave that for now and on this shape layer we're going to draw another shape layer another shape rather which is kind of like a union just a little speech bubble there right and it, it, it attaches itself to that shape we have there so now we have just one thing here and simply move this down here and we have something what's going to happen is you notice that something's moving but the speech bubble isn't a little bit of parenting here what we're gonna do is we're gonna parent this speech bubble to the word something so at this point right beginning point we're gonna put it here what's gonna happen is that we have a parent tool here 
we're going to say our parent is something. So wherever something moves, that speech bubble is going to move with it. Right, so now you have that nice looking track point. Nice tracking going on here. Right? Following that that horse, which is which is pretty decent, if you ask me. Alright, so it's all set up. That's one way you can track something. I'm gonna show you how to track using the four corner perspective pin after this. So I'm just gonna save this here in a folder. It's kinda good to keep your folder all organized. Right, I'm dealing with video right now. So I'm gonna say Adobe After Effects. Um something tracking. <coughs> <laughs> motion tracking right so I'm going to save that and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial so till then take care God bless and make sure you keep safe from Hurricane Sandy who's chasing horses oh no take care Jamaicans and Haitians it's coming to you next or so we heard alright take care guys